you can spot me in the city building lobby with a sword on shot. He's screaming, drop it, this is Bobby. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. It's March 17th, 1990. You have the WBC light welterweight champion, uh, Julio Chavez, against the IBF light welterweight champion, Meldrick Taylor. It was a classic fight. Like classic fights, it was surrounded by controversy. So the controversy was due to this. Richard Steele, he stops the fight with, I don't know, like four seconds left in the final round. You know, the fight starts off with Meldrick Taylor just handing Chavez some. I mean, using the speed, using his boxing technique. He hitting Chavez with solid shots, very fast, very accurate. Everything that's Meldrick Taylor. You want to talk about somebody who was just, I mean, just reeking of talent and skill. And, uh, you know, an Olympian. But Chavez, the legend, kept chopping away. He was a rock. He was a rock. He kept chopping. And as the fight went on, he kept landing more and more and more, getting to Meldrick Taylor. And by the time it got to the last round, Meldrick Taylor was up. He had too many rounds on him. He won the battle, but he was losing the war. And in the final seconds of the 12th round, Chavez drops Meldrick Taylor. Meldrick Taylor gets up. And when he gets up, Richard Steele looks at Meldrick Taylor. He stops the fight. The controversy is, was that a good stoppage or no? You want to say no. Why? Chavez was what? maybe four seconds away in the opposite corner. By the time he gets to Taylor, the fight is over anyway. Let the guy go out on the shield. You think that he deserved that, especially with him having so many rounds in the bank. He was winning the fight, and you're gonna stop it with only four seconds left? In hindsight, though, Meldrick Taylor was never the same. Anyone remember Meldrick Taylor Chavez too? Not the same fight because Meldrick Taylor wasn't the same fighter. Here's Meldrick Taylor by about 10 years. Me that wrote After bad things about me. The when I my name said I was washed up. I never back in 1992, I lost my title, but. Suffering from brain damage. Here's Meldrick Taylor maybe four years ago. Oh, I really appreciate you saying that, saying that about me, bro. Now, for, look at the report. For, for what, look at the report. For, the yeah, interview. Yeah, that, 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 the interviewer doesn't know, understand I, one word I, that he's saying. She's, you know, I, doing what she does, not and yes. No one knows what Meldrick Taylor is saying. Okay? So, Meldrick Taylor suffered brain damage after that fight. That fight was dangerous. That knockout was dangerous, too. Why did Richard Steele stop the fight? Why did he stop the fight? When you look at the stoppage, you see his face? Richard Steele was looking at Meldrick Taylor, and what he saw, he stopped it. Was he aware of the final four seconds? Was he thinking about that at all? I don't think so. I think he looked at Meldrick Taylor, and what he saw wasn't healthy. What he tried to prevent, though, happened anyway. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that he was righteous for stopping the fight? Or do you think he could have let it gone on for four more seconds, giving Meldrick Taylor the win? Showbiz adult. I'm out. Stop me in the city, building lobby with a sword off shot. He's screaming, drop it, this a robbery.